It all started with this man, Takeo Saiki. In a fit of rage, he committed unspeakable acts. Unknown to him, he planted the seeds for a curse that would go on to claim the lives of so many people. But did you know that he actually caused the birth of two curses? I will explain. We first learn of Takeo Saiki and his family in Juon the Curse and Juon the Curse 2, both came out in 2000. Takeo lived in a house with his wife Kayako, his son Toshio, and their cat Mar. The family's home life was damaged by Takeo's growing feelings of jealousy and suspicions that Toshio was not his actual son. It turned out that Takeo's feelings were not unfounded, but that reality does not justify what he did. Let's back up a bit. A teacher named Shunsuke Kobayashi lives with his pregnant wife, Manami. One of his students is a boy named Toshio Saiki. Shunsuke met Toshio's mother, Kayako, in university. This is where he also met Manami, never knowing that Kayako was deeply in love with him. Having vague memories of Kayako, Shunsuke asks his wife if she remembers Kayako. Manami does vaguely, and recalls thinking that there was something strange about Kayako. Upon noticing that Toshio has been absent for a long time, Shunsuke makes a trip to the Saiki family home. He finds it in disarray and discovers an injured Toshio. After cleaning up Toshio's wounds, Shunsuke calls his wife to tell her that he will wait for a parent to come back. He cannot leave Toshio alone. While waiting, Shunsuke comes across a journal of sorts. He reads Kayako's fantasies, including of him being Toshio's real father. Takeo had found the journal as well, and had already suspected something was wrong with his relationship to Kayako. In a fit of rage, he killed Toshio and the cat. Later, he murdered Kayako, breaking her neck and leaving her to slowly die, able only to croak a death rattle. <laughs> this brings us to the main concept of the film, Ju-on, Curse, Grudge. When someone dies as a result of immense rage, a curse is born at that location. It infects anyone it comes in contact with and will destroy them sooner or later. The Saiki family home has now become a cursed location. Anyone who enters it is doomed. The curse might manifest as Kayako, Toshio, the cat, a combination of them, anyone else the curse has affected, or anyone the victim knows. They are not ghosts but manifestations of the curse. Having come into contact with the house, Shunsuke is now cursed. He will soon meet his end. But before that, he gets a phone call from Takeo. After reading Kayako's journal and disposing of his family, Takeo went to Shunsuke's apartment and murdered Manami. He then removed the unborn child from Manami's body as a replacement for the child he thinks Shunsuke stole. Shortly after, Takeo succumbs to the effects of the curse he created. Years later, the Saiki house has come into the possession of a real estate agent, Tatsuya Suzuki. Knowing of the house's dark history, he asks his sister, Kyoko, who is psychically sensitive, to visit the house with him. Troubled by what she feels, Kyoko recommends some tests that Tatsuya should perform on potential new owners before selling the house. She then visits the apartment where Tatsuya's family lives to visit her nephew Nobuyuki. While there, Kyoko, and possibly Nobuyuki as well, has visions of Takeo murdering Manami. This is the apartment where Shunsuke and Manami used to live. This location is also stained by rage and death. Kyoko later goes insane, seemingly under the influence of the curse from the apartment. Tatsuya goes missing and presumably meets his fate. 
Nobuyuki witnesses the deaths of Kyoko and his grandparents. Much later, Nobuyuki too is taken by the curse. Takeo Saiki, through his rage and violence against his family, brought about the Juon that took root in his family's house. This curse claimed the majority of people we see die in the various entries in the film series. Takeo also, through his act of misguided revenge against Shunsuke, created a second Juon. The rage he felt and the death he caused made a different curse in Shunsuke and Manami's apartment. The effects of this curse, while as deadly, appear different from those of the curse in the Saiki house. It is this curse that most likely contributed to Kyoko's death and later claimed Nobuyuki. The events of Juon the Curse reveal the birth of the main curse of the series, the one in the Saiki house. We are introduced to manifestations of Kayako, Toshio, and the cat. They are the most prominent manifestations of the curse throughout the film series. In Juon the Curse 2, we learn of the second cursed location in Shunsuke and Manami's apartment. We can assume that Tatsuya was also infected by that curse, along with Nobuyuki, since they both lived there. This means Tatsuya and Kyoko had direct exposure to each cursed location. Unfortunately, the theatrically released Juon the Grudge abridged aspects of Takeo's crimes. The deaths of Shunsuke, Manami, and their unborn child are not depicted. The existence of the second cursed location goes unmentioned here, and in subsequent films in the Juon series, including the American remake and its sequels. I still believe it to be canon, though, at least in the Japanese film series. Having more than one cursed location lends proof to the concept that extreme rage plus death equals curse. Imagine how many such places might exist, how easy to unwittingly visit one of those places, become infected, and experience strange events around you as your end drew ever closer. The inevitability of it. Terrifying. Thanks for watching. See you next time.